Welcome to the Sidra Intersection tutorial series. In this video, we'll show you how to use the Common Control Group input dialogues in Sidra Intersection. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. Common Control Group, or CCG for short, is a Sidra Intersection software term used for a group of signalized sites controlled by a single signal controller. This is relevant to the modeling of signalized closely spaced intersections, such as staggered T intersections, traditional freeway interchanges, alternative intersections and interchanges, such as the diverging diamond interchange, intersections with wide median area controlled by signals, and fully signalized roundabouts. Thus, Common Control Group refers to a signal-controlled network whose timings are determined as a single entity. We will use an existing project with a network containing signalized sites. Under the Network tab, select the network and click the Layout command or double-click the network name to view the layout picture. Click Define CCGs under Network Input to open the dialog. The Define CCGs dialog includes two sections named Create Common Control Groups and Allocate Sites to Common Control Groups. Initially, the table in the first section will be empty, and the table in the second section will list the signalized sites in the network. The first step is to define the common control groups in the first section. Up to 10 CCGs can be created. We will define two CCGs. Click the Add CCG button to add the first CCG. A new CCG with a CCG ID and a CCG name will appear in the table for editing by the user. CCG ID is a label specified by the user. Up to five characters are allowed. CCG IDs and CCG names will appear in other dialogues for easy identification of multiple CCGs. Type the CCG ID as CCG1 and the CCG name as Freeway Interchange. Click the Add CCG button again to add the second CCG. Type the CCG ID as CCG2 and the CCG name as T intersection and PED signals. You can use the Move Up, Move Down, and Delete CCG functions to organize the CCGs in the table. Next step in the Define CCG dialog is to allocate sites to these CCGs. Remember that a CCG must have at least two signalized sites that are connected directly. First, assign the two freeway interchange sites to CCG1. Then, assign the T intersection and PED signal sites to CCG2. Note that a site in a network can be allocated to one CCG only, but the same site in a different network can be allocated to a different CCG. When common control groups are introduced in the Define CCGs dialog and OK, Apply, or Process Network buttons are clicked, the CCG Phasing and Timing dialog will appear below the Define CCGs dialog in the Network Input section. It's important to note that the Define CCGs and CCG Phasing and Timing dialogs should be completed before the Network Timing dialog. Contents of the Signal Coordination table in the Coordination tab of the Network Timing dialog will be set up according to CCG definitions. Now, let's open the CCG Phasing and Timing dialog. This resizable dialog includes a Select CCG tab and a set of Phasing and Timing tabs similar to the Phasing and Timing input dialog for individual sites. The Select CCG tab lists the CCGs defined in the Define CCGs dialog for selection using radio buttons. 
the CCG selected in this tab will be referred to as the selected CCG. The tab also shows the sites that form the selected CCG for information. Other tabs in the Phasing and Timing dialog are used to specify phasing and timing data for the selected CCG. This is similar to the phasing and timing data method used for individual sites. In the Sequence Editor and Advanced tabs of this dialog, all sites and movements in the CCG are displayed together for easy data entry. Click the View Display button to open the default in-dialog display, which shows the complete phase sequence. Under the Sequence Editor tab, direct data entry is permitted in this display. Click the down arrow to view other displays. Select No Display to close the in-dialog display. For timing analysis of CCGs, Phasing and timing data given in the CCG Phasing and Timing dialog will be used. The data for individual sites given in the Phasing and Timing dialog under the Site tab will be ignored. The Network Clone function will retain all data, including common control group definitions in the Define CCGs dialog and the related phasing and timing specifications in the CCG phasing and timing dialog. For a single CCG in the network, select No for the coordinated site or CCG parameter in the Network Timing dialog. In this case, the specifications given in the Timing Options tab of the CCG Phasing and Timing dialog will apply. Otherwise, the specifications given in the Timing Options tab of the Network Timing dialog will apply. The settings that apply will be indicated in the table with blue text. This concludes our tutorial on the Common Control Group Input Dialogues in SIDRA Intersection. Thank you for watching.